storybook to fill virtues hunger running wild and living free riding high on that carousel biker tv is brought to you by parts canada and drag specialties we support the sport join biker tv at summer ride summerside pei advanced welding techniques training for success Welcome to Biker TV, by bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, getting inked at Creative Chaos Tattoo in Brantford, Ontario. Riding for Spinal Cord Research at the Rock and Wheel Ride. Chatham Bike Fest for Big Brothers and Big Sisters. But first, everything motorcycles in Calgary, Alberta. On behalf of Biker TV for the first ever event like this in Canada. It's called Two Wheels Sunday. And we're just absolutely thrilled with the turnout we had today. This is the first time something like this has been tried in Canada. And it's a charity event. We're raising funds for the Veterans Food Bank and for the Poppy Seed Fund. And it's a collective of all the motorcycle groups in all of Calgary getting together and stores and everything, showing their wares. It's kind of a street festival. And no word of a lie, we've had over a thousand motorcycles today. It's been a huge success for us and we couldn't be happier. So join us here on Biker TV while we go and tour it around and take a look at some of the vendors and talk to some of the people. What do you say we had for a crowd today? Oh, that's that's a tough call, you know. Uh, to say 3,000 wouldn't wouldn't be uh, under uh, you know it might be underestimating it, but uh, wouldn't be overestimating that that's for sure. So, yeah, excellent. Yeah, so they, it's been a constant turnover uh, from 10 o'clock till 3 o'clock, and at one point I know we had 500 motorcycles on the street before we even opened the doors. So uh, I think that says a lot in itself. Absolutely. Know, all, all the all the groups here are equal players in this. You know, from the Harley owners group to the uh, Goldwing riders to the vintage guys, they're all there. They're all part of it. Uh, they brought volunteers forth that made this possible. Cooked food, uh, controlled traffic, super, super, super. Uh, you, you can't take the smile off my face. That's right. excellent. <laughs> well, it's really interesting to see all these bikes. You know, the, the styles, the colors, the years, the makes, the models. It's something you don't see every day. What do you think about this event today? I think it was a great idea to try and bring, uh, you know, all of the groups together in one spot and uh, see what everybody else is doing. It was a, it was a fantastic idea. I think it's absolutely amazing. The turnout is incredible. I did not expect it to be the size that it is. It's just a wonderful show. Turnout, enthusiasm, smiles. Everybody looks like they're enjoying themselves immensely. And uh, for a first time event, I don't think they could have asked for a better start. Take a look at this. Here we are, one of our friends, and he's here getting free gasoline, courtesy of the good folks at CycleWorks. And Vince, how many liters you pumped today? About 600. About 600 liters of free gasoline. Isn't that something? I got some. So just to give you some idea of the diversity of the bike sets here, this is the sport bike winner from today in the show and shine category. A stretched out with a single sided swing arm and just unbelievable detail on it. And then we have here the oldest known bike in Canada in terms of a BMW and it's a runner. I believe it's a 1932 BMW and that won the uh, vintage category. So we're thrilled to have some great bikes here in detail. Amazing day. I can't, absolutely can't believe this. And with worthy cause. So the veterans uh, here were raising the funds and helping us organize all the charity donations for the Veterans Food Bank and the Poppy Seed Fund. And we're thrilled to have you guys on board and did a wonderful job of Thank working you. it all. Thank you. We'll yeah. go again next year. Absolutely. This is going to be an annual thing, I'm quite sure, from here on in. This is awesome, Don. Yeah. This is incredible. You couldn't ask for better weather. You couldn't ask for a better group of the veterans, so thank you for all your support here on this event. Thank you. After the break, getting inked at Creative Chaos Tattoo in Brantford, Ontario.
Claro. We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, a, in an authorized Harley-Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley-Davidson training. The sky's the limit. Spady Transport. Now hiring owner operators. Join today and work for the very best. Now hiring owner operators. Spady Transport. Dragon Jeans, what Biker TV rides in. Protect your assets. Dragon Jeans. Advanced welding techniques, training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Tilbury Auto Sales RV Omaha. One stop shop, over 300 units in stock. RVs, power sports, autos, Yamaha. Financing for everyone. TilburyAutoSales.com. Conquer motorcycles. Conquer your ride. Custom Rides and Rods, a must stop in Kelowna, BC. Conquer Motorcycles. Closed captioning by The Bikers Reunion. Bikers Battling Cancer. Don't ask the world to step in time. She's not my sister, no? What are the questions you get asked the most? Will it hurt? <laughs> Surprisingly enough, yeah. Which would you to reply to that one? Yes. We're going to be setting a tattoo design on Angela. I don't know if she's ready for it or not, but... We're ready. We're born ready. There we go. Get a look of it without that big piece of paper over it. How long have you been tattooing for? I've been tattooing for 25 years. 25 years. And yeah. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. Met a lot of people, a lot of cool people, and uh, done a lot of cool stuff over the years. I've actually known him uh, pretty much all my life. He gave me my first tattoo when I was about 16. First of all, we, we laid this stencil on, and that, that gives you your, your placement and everything. And you like it where it sits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just put your arm. Just let me see. See, make sure it's doing it what you want to do. That's cool. Yes. Yeah, right. cool. All right, and then we put this, this stencil on, and basically just follow the stencil with our outline. He was busy with another apprentice at the time when I wanted to start tattooing. But, uh,. Eventually, I became in contact again, which is nice. So it treats me like family. Hey, you don't get a good perspective. You don't get the same as me. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Do me one more small. You're not hooked up or nothing. Just go stand in front of the mirror for a second. I just want to make sure with you standing that it's straight. Yeah. About straight. No castle home, no mountain. I've come accustomed to a lot of like delicate girly stuff, but I, I love pretty much everything. I really like doing portrait work. No bluebird on my shoulder, happily ever after. Once upon a There's a couple of different ways we can do this. As when you stand up like that, it does go a certain direction. It goes. Uh, yeah. 
So there's two ways we can go about that. When you show it, you're basically getting it to show it. Say with your arm down, more loose, not, not supported. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash that off. And we're gonna put, put it on while your arm's like that not supported and that right. way so when you show it yeah because oh. because your, your skin always moves how did it feel in your armpit um not bad. it was more of like a the vibrating yeah like kind of was uncomfortable <laughs> but it wasn't wasn't as bad as my stomach that's for sure yes getting our tattoos you know the last thing you would think of, you know Sister, yes, but we see a lot of people coming in with their moms and their fathers yeah. and, and stuff like that nowadays. Where, you know, oh no, you would not never be seen even on the same street as a tattoo shop. If your parents got you, you, you know, you do the strip search when you go out, the body search when you go out home. How's your arm doing? Yeah? Wouldn't it just be saying that because you're on TV, would you? So I just have to manage her up and she's getting another one, so then we have to stencil that. Stencil that up for her. From an early age, I think we're all exposed to tattoos. Um, from, from grandpa to, you know, to... to uh, being held in, in your uncle's arms and just seeing a, a mark on them. What's that? Oh. Tattoo. Oh, tattoo. That's cool. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're drawn to it pretty early in our lives. Polysporin has, has the tale of pulling color out if you use it a lot. Like if you use it very generously, you want to use it very sparingly, just about like that. And I, I recommend three to five times a day for about a week, week and a half. After the break, Chatham Bike Fest for big brothers and big sisters. Biker TV is brought to you by Hip Cycle, where biker TV goes. Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. Biketoberfest 2015, live to ride. Flat Track Canada, almost time for action-packed family racing. Congrats on the new location, Custom Creations Cycle and Inc, Cambridge, Nova Scotia. Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, our people and our equipment set us apart. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs. Artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. World class plowing match. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. 12 gauge customs. Award winning trucks. Big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call. 12 gauge customs. Atlantic Canada's largest motorcycle rally, the Wharf Rat Rally, Digby, Nova Scotia.
Welcome back to Biker TV. Bye bikers for bikers. I'm here in Chatham, Ontario, and the Chatham-Kent Bike Fest is well underway with lots to see and do, all in support of the Chatham-Kent Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Let's check it out. Some say it's a cursed road. Some men just claim to be and say they know. I'm Ginger. Steve. Steve who? Cameron. Steve Cameron, where are you from? I live in Tilbury. I'm from Nova Scotia. Oh, you're a Tilbury guy. Uh -huh. Former East Coaster. Yeah. Very nice. Always an East Coaster, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got a ticket on the draw today? I got a ticket on every draw in here, the bikes, the 50-50 draws. Yeah. Oh, you're all over it, eh? Yeah, all over it, yeah. How'd you hear about this, or are you a, you're I'm a frequent with, I'm flyer? With, I'm with the Chatham Ken Hog chapter, and uh, yeah, pretty much hear about everything, right? So, oh, I yeah, see. Everything's on flyers, and, and it's all out there advertised, so yeah, and so I attend the, everything in the area, yeah. So you're the Duke's chapter? Yep. Oh, we're the nice. Duke's chapter, yep, absolutely. Nice. Those guys really take care of their hog members. We're, we're, we're doing good this year, yeah. Let's talk about Chatham Kent Bike Fest. What's going on here today? All right, so uh, we have our showcase taking place, so the judging's going to happen at four, so we have different categories for that. It was free for them to get in. Um, what I, my big thing is I want everybody to see bikes aren't bad. I want everybody to see how beautiful they are and the, and the pride that the owners of these bikes take in their bikes and uh, just to get what the motorcycle community does for us. So this is my way of showing appreciation. Are you actually with the uh, Chatham Kent Big Brothers? Big I Brothers? am. I am actually a child and youth worker, so I am uh, one of the case workers there, and uh, I've been with the agency since '99. Right. So obviously, you know the need. You see the need. So it's you know the that need. would be why you chose that charity. That's right. And you know what? It's kind of uh, the best of both worlds because I enjoy my job. I enjoy working with kids. I know that we need money to keep the programs going locally, and why not mix it up with uh, my friends that I have in the community and outside the community with their bikes and be able to kind of. Uh, um, you have the best of both worlds. Well, Mink Clothing Company is owned by Barry Stock. He's the guitar player with Three Days Grace. Oh, nice. And it's a military rock and roll music inspired clothing company. Uh, we sell women's clothing and also men's. We sell jewelry custom made. How's it going today at uh, Chatham Camp Bike Fest? We, I think they've had a good day here. They've had a pretty good crowd. The weather's been good. It's been dry. And, uh, lots of really nice bikes out. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, good yeah, turnout. Yeah. And last year, this event was actually at Dukes. It was. Uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters uh, hosted it at Dukes, but they wanted to change the venue and make uh, add a few things, make the beer tent open a little longer. and. Probably right. a better choice being down here so people can walk. And well, it's bigger. Yeah, it's good bigger. decision. And the, the band stage is oh, there's awesome. Oh, there been a lot of good bands, and they have a stage. Yeah, play on, which yeah is they have really an actual nice. stage. Yeah, yeah. And you get to get away from Dukes and uh, come out and meet and greet. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a great, uh, great gig. Most exciting event of the year! Three! Two, one, and... Is this yes. your virgin interview yes, on Viper TV? It is, it is. We watch you on TV, though. That's all right. <laughs> That's good. What's your name, girl? Anna. Anna, where are you from? I am from Windsor, Ontario. From Windsor? Right on. Yes. How are you liking the event today? Actually, it's very good. Lots of people, lots of nice bikes, and I'm very impressed, actually. Right on. What was yeah. the draw? What got you out? Uh, actually, my boyfriend wanted to come, and then we saw that they were having a draw for a Harley, so we came out and bought our tickets. Your first cab guy, eh? Yeah, yeah. We love you guys. It's always so great to see you in the crowd. Well, we try hard. We try hard. I know you do. I know you definitely do. What uh, what brought you out today? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, this is the uh, first time in Chatham here for this uh, bike fest, so we got to gotta have a party here. And, You're from Chatham, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, from Chatham. So hopefully this grows. People need to come. Well, that wraps up an amazing day here at the Chatham-Kent Bike Fest. Many thanks to the Bike Fest team, especially our good friend Tony. Thanks for watching. Check us out at bikertv.ca, like us on Facebook, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. 
after the break, riding for spinal cord research at the Rock and Wheel Ride. In 2004, my wife died of cancer. And during that time, the five weeks that she was home with me, we needed services in order to provide that quality of life that she needed. We all crash. The VON are there for us. Let's be there for them. VON is an important part of our community. I had an experience with them with my parents before they passed away, so they were a big help to them and our family too. Come ride for a great cause. Biker TV is brought to you by Hip Cycle, where Biker TV goes. Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. Biketoberfest 2015, live to ride. Flat Track Canada, almost time for action-packed family racing. Congrats on the new location, Custom Creations Cycle and Inc, Cambridge, Nova Scotia. Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, our people and our equipment set us apart. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs. Artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. World class plowing match. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. 12 gauge customs. Award winning trucks. Big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call. 12 gauge customs. Atlantic Canada's largest motorcycle rally, the Wharf Rat Rally, Digby, Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Biker TV, simply the best in Canadian motorcycling. I'm here in Mount Bridges, Ontario, and today we're riding rain or shine in support of Spinal Cord Research. This is the Rock and Wheel 9 Poker Run. Let's get this show on the road. How are you doing? Good, good. Good. What's your name? Frank Huvel. Where are you from, Frank? I'm right from this town, Mount Bridges. Local guy. I am. And you're the guy that organizes this ride for uh, Kenny. I am too. Right on. The Rock and Wheel Poker Ride. This is the sixth year now we've had this, so the weather is uh, a little bit cloudier today, but hopefully the rain holds off for us. It'll be fine. It's a beautiful day for a ride. Where are we going? Where are you taking us? Today we are going to be going to uh, the south part of southwestern Ontario uh, to Port Glasgow. Oh, nice. nice. Yes. I've been there a few times. Since you're passing out maps, I can only assume that you're the road captain yeah, today. Yeah, I'm uh, leading the ride. My name's Mike. Mike. And uh, how'd you get roped into leading the ride today? Oh, I love doing this. Yeah. I just love it. It's just, it's just, you know, I've, I've always led rides and I just, it's just a lot of fun. Who are you riding with today? Um, with friends, my husband, some friends, yeah. Nice, nice. Are you uh, on the back? You got your own? No, I got What's my own. On? I got a Dyna. Sweet, yeah. sweet. Rocking yeah. the Dyna. Yeah. What brings you out today? Just to ride. Just to ride. Yeah, it's a good ride. You know, hopefully the rain holds off. We're going the right direction. It's yeah. a little sunny that way. Clouds didn't scare you at all this no, morning? No, no, it's all good. How long have you been riding? Uh, about 10 years. Oh, yeah, good yeah. for you. Good for you. Yeah. Have you been to Rock and Wheel before? No, never. It's going to be no. great.
What's your name? Dave Woodward. Where are you from, Dave? St. John, New Brunswick. Oh yeah, what brings you to Ontario? This rally, uh, I have a nephew who is uh, a paraplegic. I lost my brother uh, in that same accident, so this was a pretty good cause. Oh, so this is close to home for you. It is, and my brother lives in this hometown, so. Oh, oh well, good for you for coming all that way. How long of a ride is that? It was too long. We got caught in the rain and... I was going to say, yeah. it might have been a bit moist. It was, but uh, it was well worth it. Glad we're here and this is a great cause and uh, I do nursing for a living, so I see for a bit of this, so right. it's nice. Right, and it, makes you, it kind of makes you feel good to contribute and raise awareness and help raise some funds for uh, spinal cord injury. Absolutely. Good for you. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. You should get the uh, the furthest rider award. Some, <laughs> some events do have that. Oh, well, there you go. You know, the iron butt. Yeah. He's the yeah. iron butt of the day. <laughs> Pretty much. Good for you, Dave. Pretty much. You're a hardcore guy. I appreciate you coming out. Thanks so much. It's going to be a so good welcome. ride today. Oh, it is. It yeah. is. It's going to yeah, be a great ride. Yeah, the weather's with us, and you're used to the rain anyway, so oh, you yeah. don't care. No, no. <laughs> Bring I don't on. have to worry about getting my hair wet anyway. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I bet you you're a uh, rock and wheel lifer, are you? Because yeah. you're from Mount Bridges. Yipper. What do you think of it? It's awesome. I volunteer every year, and it's perfect. I'm sure Kenny appreciates all the efforts from all the volunteers, such as yourself. And I do it because my nephew is in a wheelchair now, and hopefully he gets fixed. But in 2008, I lost my baby brother in a car accident. Oh, I'm sorry. And his son sat behind him all the time. And it was a head-on, so they thought he was going to be a quad, but yeah. he's a paraplegic. I hope for the best for his uh, recovery. If there's some treatment for him, that yeah, would be good. Yeah, so do I. That's what today's all about. Yep. Raising some dough for uh, oh, yeah. an awareness for yep. spinal cord injury. Yep. So, good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Hey, no problem. We appreciate all yep. your efforts. Thanks. Sadie rides with you? Yeah, she's a Belgian Malinois. She is beautiful. She seems to enjoy the ride anyway. Yeah. What uh, What are you riding? You got kind of an interesting machine here. It's a Ural uh, Russian bike. Russian bike? Yeah. Huh, cool. And Sadie sits in your sidecar. Yeah, she's got uh, her little bed in there and I got a little harness on her. And... Oh, so she can't yeah. bail? No, she can't jump out. What brings you out, Bill? Riding. Just riding, that's what you do? Well, love riding, love the weather. Right on, the weather cooperated, the sun came out. Yeah, a little bit. That was sweet. Yeah, for sure. What do you ride? I got a fat boy low. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a nice ride. Very nice, who are you riding with today? Uh, a bunch of my buddies from London, a couple guys from work, and a uh, new, new girl riding, uh, Dawn, she loves riding. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll for have sure. to talk to her, the new rider of the day. <laughs> yeah, for sure. How long you been riding, your new rider? Uh, just not quite a year. Oh, right on. What are you riding? Uh, 750 sh uh, Honda Shadow Arrow. Oh, very good. Cool. And you ride with this group of badasses. Yes. <laughs> My husband and Billy. Oh, yeah. It's all their fault. <laughs> it's all Billy's fault. <laughs> How are you liking the ride today so far? It's great. Nice ride. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Two wheels, good enough for Biker TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at bikertv.ca. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Next week on Biker TV, we're at Ride and Rock at Conquer Motorcycles in Kelowna, BC. The 10th annual Wharf Rat Rally in Digby, Nova Scotia. And we're at Flat Track Canada Racing in Woodstock, Ontario. Biker TV is brought to you by Join Biker TV at Duke's 10th Anniversary Party and VON Ride. Biker TV advertising works. We speak to millions. Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport.
story 